Good day, everyone. It's your favorite host, Jezebel and Ashley. Whoa, Ashley, what are you doing? Shooting baskets because our first topic is basketball. Let's get on to that. The weather going extinct. Here's some other animals that are going extinct. Please take care of the planet. Hello, today we're going to be talking about endangered animals. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Asian unicorn, aka the Saula. This animal is known as the Asian unicorn because of how rare it is, although it has two horns instead of one. This animal is endangered because of hunters wanting their horns. Next we have the giant panda. Pandas first became endangered in 1990 due to habitat loss. Humans have cleared out many bamboo forests, and since it's the only food that pandas eat, it has affected them greatly. There are about 1,864 pandas left in the wild. Lastly, we have polar bears. Polar bears are endangered because of climate change. By now, there should only be around 22,000 to 31,000 left in the world. Without ice, they won't be able to survive. One big way we can help is by recycling. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Ashley, what? What are you doing? We're not supposed to be eating on the job. I'm just eating because the next video has food involved. <laughs> this is Ashley and Sergio. Hi. And in this video, we're going to have special guests review the cafeteria food. And thanks, Ms. Vader, for giving us food. This is Ashley from Broadcast, and today I have... Ethan and Brian. And today they're gonna tell me how they feel about the cafeteria food. So try the carrots. Hmm. How does it taste? Tastes like a carrot. Tastes like yeah, like a carrot. Is it like steam cooked? No, no it's, it's just normal carrot from like a bag. Okay, let's try the potato. Mm. Um, tastes like potatoes, but it's like cold. It's cold mashed potatoes, and yeah. the, but the gravy's good. Yeah. Alright, tried the turkey. Yeah, I like turkey. The turkey's good. Yeah, it's good. It's not dry or anything. No. It tastes like Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. That's great. Not the beans. It's good. It's it like starts good. off good and then it like it's good. It's warm. It's, yeah, it starts off good and then it goes a little downhill, but they're good. 
Nice. Just like a green one. So yeah. how would you rate this one? Out of ten? Yeah. A seven. Seven and a half. Alright, why? Um, I feel like gravy. this could be warmer. I'm so thinking this could be a little warmer. The gravy is good on both of them, and um, the green beans are good. But yeah, as you said, they're both cold. Alright, thank you for your review. Day two of reviewing the cafeteria food with Brian and Ethan. So guys, try the mac and cheese. Does it taste good? Like yeah, yeah, mac it and cheese? yeah, it tastes really That's good. Really good. This cool. reminds you of Kraft mac and cheese. It's better than no. Kraft mac and cheese. In some parts, yeah. Now, try the crazy. I love these things. These are so good. You know, it tastes like raisins, but like better. They're Don't dry cranberries. It tastes like carrots and ranch, just normal carrots and ranch. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your fruits. This is a good orange. He dropped it. I used to lie, it's a good orange. So, how would you rate your food out of 10? 8. Nine. Why? Nine and a half. <laughs> um, mac and cheese is really good. And the oranges are really good. But I uh, like carrots. Yeah, and there's craisins. Here's also footage of the 8th grade field trip. It's Miss Byrne here. I'm at Stevenson High School. Um, there is a coding workshop going on with the eighth graders. We had a field trip today. There's Miss Hoffman and Mr. Goldberg. Let's go check it out.
love your shoes. Thanks, they've been trending lately. about your lifestyle and your teaching lifestyle. The first question is, where did you grow up in? I grew up real close to here. I was born in Highland Park, which isn't far. And then when I was two, we moved to Lake Forest. Uh -huh. And I've lived in Lake Forest, Lake Bluff my whole life. Now I live in Lake Bluff with my husband and my three kids and our dog and our ferret. Mm -hmm. Did you like school when you were a teenager? If not, then why? Yes, I did. I liked it for social reasons and I liked learning. That's great. Uh, what's one subject you hated when you were a teen? Chemistry. I couldn't, uh, I found it very, very difficult. And science is even in college, and genetics and science is very difficult for me. Okay. Uh, what made you want to teach the subject that you were teaching? I didn't. I wanted to teach second grade, and I did my student teaching with second grade. And my first teaching opportunity was a foreign language classroom not too far from here. Mm -hmm. And the woman was having a baby, and they needed someone to fill in while she had her baby. And I took the job, and I said, okay, I'll try it. Middle school kids in foreign language, and I tried it, and I loved it. I said, oh my gosh, I want to do this. So that's what I kept on doing. All right, the last question is, what advice would you give to a student? Um, effort. You can do it. You um, are very capable, all of you. And if you put in the right effort and seek help when you need it, you can get through it. That's a great advice. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. It was nice having you guys. Bye, everyone.